Hey guys, Yu Sheng here. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. In this video, we're going to be looking at one of the most standard TVZ openings, the Hellion plus Liberator attack. It's a fantastic way to put on a ton of pressure to the Zerg, and it allows you to potentially deal game-ending damage really early on. Also, it's a lot less committed than other options such as BC and Hellbat timings, which allows you to transition into the mid-game faster and easier. Let's check it out. Alright, so here we are, I've just started the game against the AI, and we're going to be going through this build order really fast. We're going to start with a 14 depot. I'm going to be leaving this build order in the description if you want to read along as we go through the game. Feel free to pause the video and open that up. After the 14 depot, you're going to be going for a 16 barracks. So this build is a Rax first, which means 16 barracks, 16 gas. Some builds use a gas first as well, Additional but this build doesn't need too much gas. Required. We're pretty focused on the minerals instead, so Rax first, followed by a gas. Following the gas, we're going to go all the way up till 19 supply, at which point we're going to build a Reaper and an Orbital Command at the same time. We've got quite a bit of time between then though. As your gas finishes up, put two more on right away. Later on in the build we're uh, going to be rallying to gas. So so this is just putting them straight on right away. But um, when we rally we're not going to put them on just like that. Just in case you don't know what I mean later. Alright. As the command center finishes up we're going to go for a reaper and an orbital. We're going to use Scout with the Barracks SCV, and we're going to build a Command Center with the last SCV produced. So if you want, you can rally that Command Center over here. And then on 20 Supply, we're going to make that Command Center. Next up, a 20 Depot. And here, center. can get a little um, tricky to spend your money properly, because we're going to be getting a Marine after this Reaper. But if you queue it up right away, you're not going to be able to get this SCV. And um, you're not going to be able to get some other stuff as well. So make sure you get the SCV and the Reaper, or sorry, the SCV and the Mule first. And then Upgraded. following that, we'll queue up the Marine right here. This Reaper can go straight across the map. And this should be about the same time that your SCV is arriving at their hatchery. And so this is a pretty critical moment. We're not going to be covering cheeses, but in a lot of cases, you're going to see a hatchery that's not complete. And this is where you're going to deviate from the build if they're doing some sort of cheese. So in this case, we see the hatchery complete. This means we're totally fine to proceed. But if you don't see this, <clears throat> you may have to make changes. But we're not going to be covering those again. So here we go. We're feeling calm and safe. We're good. He's got a hatchery. We can send that SCV to the third base of the Zerg. This might not be normal at maybe platinum or below, but diamond and up, people are going to be grabbing a very fast third base, so you're going to want to at least try and block that third or just see that it's gone down. In the meantime, we're going to throw down a factory at 23 supply. And the SCV that Major Depot is going to go and make a gas geyser at 23 as well. Once your marine's finished, you're going to throw down a reactor. That's going to be used for Hellions later on. And we're about to get to what I was talking about with the gas. Micro the Reaper a little bit. You don't need to do that. But just use it to keep uh, an eye on the Zerg. Make sure he's not cheesing you. We'll discuss that more in some uh, future videos, I imagine. I'm going to pause right here. Our main base is now fully saturated, meaning we're at 16 out of 16 SCVs. This is the time you want to change your rally point towards the gas. So like I was saying with the first gas, we took off two right away and put them on. We're not going to do that with the second gas. So if I click on my CC here, you're going to see me change the rally point. There we go. That was really fast. <laughs> Let me go back here. So I now have the rally point straight onto the gas. And so once they're finished building, they're just going to start mining. And then once it's fully saturated, the gas geyser, we're going to switch it to the second base, the natural, 
and then continue producing SCVs for here. Okay. Our factory is about to finish. When the factory is complete, you are going to grab your starport. And this is the reason we started the gas so early, but didn't fill it, <clears throat> is because we just needed barely enough gas to start this starport. So we saw we just had exactly 100, and that's exactly what we want to have happen. So we started the starport. We're going to swap the factory and the barracks. And you're not going to get an add-on if you want to do this build super quickly. Although a lot of the cheeses you do need to get an add-on, so keep that in mind. This is only going to be safe against uh, macro play. Starting up our Hellions, grabbing the depot after you begin the first two. Command center upgraded. Drop a meal once your uh, second orbital finishes. And then once your first two Hellion are complete, you can queue up two additional ones right away. We don't want any gaps. Let me just go over here as you can see. So those Hellions were queued up immediately. And then once your starport is finished, you're going to queue up a Liberator right away as well. <clears throat> there might be a slight delay on this. I'm trying not to skip SCVs. I think it's more important to have the SCVs. But as soon as I have the money and I'm not doing that, I will queue it up. And then we do want another depot, but just make sure that you start your Hellions first. Otherwise, uh, you won't quite have enough money. It's, it's pretty tight. So you can see here, two Hellions queued up. And then... So these are our 5th and 6th Hellions. So once you have the 5th and 6th Hellions queued up, then you can get your 2nd uh, Depot at the Natural. Which is, what, 49 supply? I mean, you don't need to look at the supply here, but roughly 49. If it's 48, that's fine. 40 uh, or 50, doesn't really matter. I'm basing it more off of the Hellion timing. Okay. Our Liberator is about to complete. We have our six Hellions. And as soon as these six Hellions are out, you could move out right here, but it's uh, like very slightly risky because uh, Zerg could have a bunch of Zerglings here and run in, and our wall is not quite complete. Also, it's not going to time out well with your Liberator anyways. So if you want, you can just wait like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, and that should be good. But if you want to hit right away, you can just go straight across the map right now, and that should be okay most of the time as well. Right after your six Hellions are complete, you can start your command center. This is sort of getting into the transition, which we won't be covering today, but you can drop down your CC and another depot, and that'll finish the wall. And, um, and then you can choose to go into mech or bio or whatever you want. Again, we'll probably cover those in some future videos. Operational. But so here we go, we're moving out with the Hellions. We should get here at about, uh, I'd say just before 4.30 would be a good metric to use if you want to uh, check if you're executing this build correctly. On this map, it looks like we're getting here maybe 1 or 4.25, so slightly earlier than 4.30, but some maps might be bigger, so if you're going to judge the 4.25 time, make sure you're playing this map. And your Liberator should arrive at about 4.45 if you want to check that as well. And so you can kind of uh, siege this. You can queue it up. I think I have this one sieged already, you just can't see. But I've sort of sieged it up like over uh, this area. And I'm mostly watching the Hellions. You might want to tab over to this one. Just in case there's a Spore Crawler, double check. And if there is, maybe shift queue it around and siege. But you don't really want to be spending too much of your time with the Liberator. You would rather focus more over here. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Maybe one more note is you don't need to uh, sacrifice these Hellions. I see a lot of people diving in and just going for as many drones as they can, but these actually work quite well with a follow-up push. So in a, in a lot of games, you might want to just keep these alive and, um, and make them into Hellbats for your next push. All right, cool. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is Hu Sheng Tutorials. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.